بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أحمده وأصلي على رسول الكريم فقال عز وجل فألحمها فجورها وتقواها رب الشح لي صدري ويسل لي أمري وأهل الأقدة من لساني يفكه قولي آمين يا رب What I want to say today is rather complicated and sometimes even very difficult for experts to understand. Not that I'm an expert, of course not. But I have spent a lot of time uh, trying to understand this concept that started with Freud and then other people like Lacan. Uh, they talked about this idea of the death drive. Now, why did they talk about this and Carl Jung kind of touched upon it because what started World War One and what started World War Two from a perspective of human psyche right like why would you do that so where is Europe today compared to World War One and World War Two I'm not going to really touch on the historical aspect but I am going to touch upon you can say these the psychological state uh, or the state of the psyche and how this relates to the Quran in many ways. Now, those of you that will know uh, that uh, the the Protestant movement, which started because just so that everybody knows that in the beginning, there was the, uh, the in the beginning, there was the Catholic uh, kingdom and the Catholic Pope and the king or the kings rather in Europe they ruled together so the pope the the pope gave his uh, you can say approval and the king and the pope they kind of like ruled hand in hand and the church was a big empire a very rich empire and a very tyrannical empire this led to the reformation of christianity in which martin luther and broke away from the church saying we don't need the pope to tell us what the bible is saying we will do our own interpretation and this led for the christian reformation now this break uh of that we will read the bible according to the way we like it uh led uh, had many consequences but this is what led to the renaissance in which started with Galilee and then continued, in which they said, we will study nature, but we want to study nature basically without God. Now, that was not said in the beginning, but that's what it became, okay? So, we're going to study nature, and we don't need God. So, science without God started after this history of Christianity, okay? And it is interesting in this respect that when you read Surah Al-Kahf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions what? Uh, in the beginning of Sutul Kahf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions Christianity with a very strong criticism uh, of, of Christianity. And so let me talk about that and then talk about how does that lead to where we are today. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in ayah number two says, Qayyiman min to give you a clear warning of what is going to be from him that he's going to allow this to happen and it's going to have positive consequences in the end الصالحات, and to give good tidings to the believers حسنة, that for them is very excellent deed, rewards in, you will leave this temporary world and live forever in the hereafter and this is now the second warning. First warning was for the war and the terrible punishment that would come in the name of Malhama. Okay? The great Armageddon Wars, you can say. And to warn you of those people who say Allah has adopted a son. Okay? They have no knowledge, nor their forefathers. Now, this seems to specifically, in terms of its wordings, be a critique of Catholicism amongst other forms of Christianity. How evil it is of a word that comes out of their mouth. They say nothing but a lie. And what happened as a result of this lie is that 
what a godless world was created, the world of modernity, the industrial, the post-industrial, the, post the modern, the post-modern world was created. But during the modern times, meaning this last century, we had two world wars. And that too was a result of the same break and because of the lies of Christianity, specifically Catholicism, uh, because of the lies and the reaction that it had, and because of this continent, the European continent, that claimed to be followers of Jesus, but they ended up doing the exact opposite of what Jesus represented. And that state of World War I and that state of World War II, what is the psychological conditions that lead to such a state? This is what I want to talk about. So I want to uh, talk about this from a more basic perspective. Freud talks about this in his book, and I'm going to show it to you because he uses some very interesting words. Very interesting words. But if you're giving someone therapy, right, and they're improving, what happens that they would uh, do something, something very dramatic to put a problem in their own therapy. Uh, what would, why would they do something to uh, sabotage themselves? Why do people do something to sabotage themselves? And this is one of the things that leads to the idea of the death drive. Now, I'm simplifying it for the people that know this subject in detail, but this is a very relevant point and the point that uh, Freud himself makes in his book um, uh, Beyond the Pleasure Principle which we're going to look at but when someone is uh, sabotaging themselves why would they do that why would someone that is uh, being helped and they can see that they're being helped and they see that there is going to be light at the end of the tunnel suddenly will reverse and go in the other direction. And Freud saw this in his therapies over and over again, right? And so this self-sabotage is how he began to understand the idea of the death drive. So let's look at one aspect of this death drive as Freud himself uses a very interesting word. And there are two things that cause, or there are two things that that both lead to death drive, but when the two come together, you have a collective state of uh, a death drive. And this is what I'm trying to say where Europe is today. Europe is self-sabotaging itself. It's moving in a direction where it knows it's going to kill itself, and yet moving in that direction, it knows it has an energy supply problem. It knows it has a big political problem in terms of uh, the the constituents that are under them that are going to vote for them. If they do stupid things, they're going to be voted out. But yet Europe m moves in that very uh, handicap in that direction of self sabotage. Why would somebody do that? And interestingly enough, the Quran answers the question. And the Quran says, gives two warnings, one of a great war, and the second one to the people who say, that Allah has adopted a son. Why? Using the same words. If you notice, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, in ayah number four, وَيُنذِرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا اتَّخَذَ اللَّهُ وَلَدَ And warning those people who say Allah has adopted a son. And then Allah says, to warn you of a severe war, of a severe punishment that is coming. Why yundira like this? Because, and in this uh, form, liyundira, to warn you of something in the future, and to warn you, uh, you of something in the future, okay? Both times. Because this uh, idea that Jesus had a son and the breaking of Christianity into Protestantism, and from there the Renaissance of looking at nature in a without God's reference to God in a godless way. This is what led to World War One and World War Two. Why? 
This is what I'm going to explain. And in fact, Carl Jung was able to predict World War II after World War I just looking at the psychological state of the people. Okay, And so what causes that? So I want to share with you something first. So in his book, uh, this is by Freud, Beyond the Pleasure Principle, uh, when you look up the word demonic, right, uh, he literally says that when people are being helped and they don't take the help, they self-sabotage. It's almost like there's a an appearance of some demonic force at work, okay? He doesn't say this once, but he says this over and over again. The manifestations of a compulsion to repeat, okay, meaning to repeat a bad habit, to go back which have been described as an occurring in earlier activities of infantile ment mental life, don't worry about this, as well as among the events of the psychoanalytic treatment, exhibit a high degree of instinctual character. And when they act in opposition to pleasure principle, meaning they're doing something that gives them no pleasure, and they're repeating it over and over again. It's almost they have this demonic uh, uh, aspect to them. He says this again, uh, Again, it may be presumed, too, that when people unfamiliar with analysis feel an obscure fear, a dread rousing something that, so they feel, is better left sleeping. When they are afraid of at bottom is the emergence of this compulsion with its hint of possession of some demonic power. That's what Freud says. Again, uh, Freud says, so... so you know, he talks about when psychoanalysis uh, analysis reveals the transference phenomenon of neur neurotics. So this neurotical behavior can also be observed in the lives of some normal people. The impression they give is being pursued by uh, a malig malignant fate or possessed by some demonic power. But psychoanalysts has always taken the view that their fate is for the most part arranged by themselves and determined by earlier in fun in don't worry about this in okay so the point here is that why does somebody move in the opposite direction to pleasure and well-being and self-sabotage them and he says it's almost like people are possessed okay he says this in his uh book uh, beyond the uh ple pleasure principle now let me inshallah move on to my next point so this death drive that has one of its manifestations in repeating things uh, almost like you're possessed it things that self-sabotage you so look if you look at you know uh, Europe in the past and now specifically even more now uh, where these two types of death drive so this is one of them of self-sabotage right uh, and there's a third aspect which uh, I'll just touch upon later on but when people are getting obese, people are not having good marriages, uh, people are depressed, uh, the economic system is getting worse day by day, right? The uh, political system is getting, the political system is getting worse, the economic system is getting worse, the war situation is getting worse. So all these things, yet they continue to almost like demonic possession continue to move in that direction uh, of self-sabotage right continue to do a war that uh, basically doesn't need a war you know why but this this drive to do this kind of like uh demonic uh repetitive world war 1 world war 2 now trying to uh, flare the flames of world war 3 and we know that the the flames of world war 3 will most likely happen from europe why? Because Surah Al-Kahf tells us that Allah warns us of a great punishment. And Allah says, and Allah warns those people who take, uh, adapt, uh, a, 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 say Allah has taken upon a son. That's one reason. Second reason um, is that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the journey of Zul Qarnain, okay, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts focus on this region, right? That north of the Caucasus Mountains, that the fitna that will start there, which is where now the fight between Christian West versus Christian East, you can say, is taking place. So this kind of like facade, right? In this area, okay? And 
So that's the second reason. So this area, the Christian area, is pointed to in the geography of the place of Fasad in uh, Sut al-Kahf. The third reason is that World War I and World War II have already happened in Europe, within Europe, within the factions of Europe, right? So, and number four, that the uh, predictability uh, of this kind of like demonic possession towards self-sabotage, uh, what you could see this, in the society, in the breakdown of society, in the breakdown of trust of uh, of their own people, right? And now in Britain they got this uh, Rashi, whatever his name is, this this Hindu guy who's their leader, and he's 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 not even of the son of the soil in a sense, and he's not going to have the the same pull and uh, the the stance, strong stance that, for example. Uh, the previous prime minister, I forget what his name is right now, Joris, uh, uh, anyway. So, you know, everything is just in such a negative state and everything is moving in such a demonic direction where society and civilization itself is beginning to break down because a, of a sense of a self-sabotage that's happening within Europe. And Europe has become like the 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 puppet of America. So on the one side, you got... You know, AI, which is the future. When we talk about the fourth industrial revolution, when we talk about the reset, you know, the future is America, okay, where you have Silicon Valley and the biggest AI stuff happening in America, okay? Then the second center of AI in the world is China, okay? China is very far ahead in many ways in the same AI. And now you have a clash between these two parties of AI, AI, right? And they have a future and they have something to fight for, meaning the U United States of America and China. What does Europe have to fight for? What, is, what does Europe have that has, that, so, so the, it's almost they see their own death, okay? Which has to relate to the second point in a way. In the midst of all of this uh, wars, that everyone's involved in between China and Russia and Europe and America, right? Uh, Israel is the third place of AI that will grow because it has no, it's going to make peace with all the Arab lands doing Abrahamic Accords and uh, it will get them to do their wars with Iran and they will grow uh, while everybody else gets tired of fighting. And this tired of fighting is what leads to, you know, this kind of like fatigue, People get fatigued, psychically fatigued, and they get uh, radical in their, uh, like a radical fatigue, okay, a radical psychic fatigue that we're about to lose our position. And that's the other aspect that I want to share with you. But let me share with you first uh, these two Quranic verses that have to do with this kind of like, uh, you can say, uh, death drive, okay? So, one is, uh, in Surah uh, Shams, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَأَلْحَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَالتَّقْوَاهَا And we inspired the self of the person with wickedness, right? And that wickedness means that you take such risks, okay? You gamble so bad that you kill yourself. And, فَأَلْحَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا فُجُورَ فَجَّرَهَا means to Go beyond limits, okay? To go beyond, do suicide. Go beyond limits, right? Get drunk and get completely lose yourself. Go gamble and get into debt and get killed, right? To go beyond limits. Lash out and kill people. And then lash out and then be killed, right? فَأَلْحَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا And we gave man, the, we inspired him with this internal, you know, subconscious level of, of, Fujur and Taqwa, right? And you can choose which path you're going to be on. And so now let me talk about the other aspect of this death drive, which is uh, kind of like demonstrated in Sutul Gawthar. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, min shaytan rajim rahim al right? That they have been distracted by more and more and more and more and more until they reach the graveyards because getting more uh, so one one type of uh, you can say uh, one type of death drive 
And when we mean the word drive, we mean something that's repetitive to something in the past. So this death drive, to be in the state that you were in the past, technically speaking, right, uh, has two components. One is that you're self-sabotaging yourself, you're killing yourself, right? And you don't know why sometimes, because it's, it's, it's at a subconscious level. You don't know why that you're possessed to move in this negative direction, in this radical negativity, okay? And the second thing that leads to the death drive is this race, this mutual rivalry, where you're so distracted and getting more and more and more and more and more. And this is what Europe is like in this state of like, in this radical negativity. And at the same time, this kind of like radical need for more, right? So it's in this very strange state. And this is what it makes it very obvious from a, uh, from a sociological perspective, that the whole continent is yet again in a new state of a death drive. And that's what they're doing. They're going to, they want more, they're going to, and so to do that, you know, like one of the uh, good examples is if you remember this scene in this uh, series that came out. So the squid game, right? What happens in the squid game? People risk everything, even if they have to die, right? So this desire, that the theory of desire uh, and uh, what is it? The law of desire uh, that was written by Lacan. Uh, the, 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 the law of desire is such that if, you, if, it, if it becomes radical, it's like gambling to your point of death. Right, and that's what Europe is. Europe has no future in terms of AI. In terms of they're like in the middle of nowhere, no one's land, and they've decided to be on the side of the U.S. instead of to be on the side of China, and they're being now used by the U.S. to fight their wars and do their bidding. Okay, and uh, now uh, Europe is in a situation of I'm going to win all or lose all. Either I'm going to die or I'm going to. And, and what happens is when your desire increases so much and your bad habits like gambling increase so much, it can get you killed. Like alcohol. This is like what the situation of Europe is. Europe is going to uh, put itself and is putting itself in a situation like it did in World War I, like it did in World War II, but in a radically more excessive way. It's going to put itself in a situation where it's going to it's going to put down it's going to gamble everything it has, right? To, but the result of that is that it's going to it's going to not get what it wants, and then it's going to lash out till it meets its fate uh, of its people, okay? And uh, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that, interestingly enough, that the Arabs will be few. And the Prophet said, وسلم, the Romans will be many. And so there will be radical changes in the human population if there is another world war. But we have all this psychological, fundamental uh, things in there. And one of the, the third aspect, so one, one aspect uh, that leads to kind of like a, a radical negativity, uh, what we see in Europe today in terms of the breakdowns of society the racism that's there, the bad politics that's there, the bad economy that's there, and then add to that this war, right? And then on the other side of the same thing is desire. But now this desire is getting so uh, constrained and this desire is getting so, uh, so, 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 you know, in, 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 in a state of scarcity, the desire increases. And so you, the more you're going to gamble, the more loans you're going to take, the more your weapons you're going to throw, the more you're going to escalate. And this is a death, this is the death drive, right? But there's another aspect to this. And that's the third aspect. And the third aspect is that the desire for death uh, or the death drive, the state of kind of like being before there was, is a state of kind of like, I want to start over again. 
right? That after World War One, after World War Two, there was some 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 historians say World War One and Two were really the same uh, war, but just in two different phases. It's possible that it'll happen again in the same way. But either way, this war that happened gave a new beginning. The war led to a new beginning, and so you put everything. You put down all your bets, just like Germany did, just like everybody else did. They all put down their bets. They they went to the maximum that they could until they couldn't do more, okay? Until the atomic bombs and until the defeat of Germany. But that's that's where we are psychologically, that we're escalating to that point of wanting more, but at the same time sabotaging yourself. And at the same time behind all of this, there is a desire that where people see there is a need to restart everything, which is sometimes given in the form of a dream of the fourth industrial revolution in, 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 in the form of a dream of the great reset. Okay. And so let's start over because we messed up and let's just start over. And so let's just destroy everything we got. Okay. And so that's there too. And so we are in a very precarious uh, in a very difficult situation in the world. Now, just to go a little bit uh, deeper on this, let's look at uh, some more things on this issue. So let me share with you this uh, kind of like abstract. Introduction, war and the death drive. Sigmund Freud, okay? Enlightenment hoped. Uh, it says hopes here, but really it should be hoped. Enlightenment hoped for perpetual peace. But what happened? That hope fell mortally wounded on the killing fields of World War One, For Sigmund Freud, war dissolved the sediments of civilized life and resurrected a kind of primitive man, meaning the, the man that's lashing out and is, you know, characterized by heroic comportment toward death that exalted the immortality of the warrior self, okay, and disdain for the mortality of the other. Okay, and so this kind of like this is what happened in World War One is is, is kind of like man Europe fell into this death drive. So, in this situation, what happens? Like happened in Germany, dictators take over, fascists take over. Uh, you know, uh, those that dare take us to death, um, because of the. Having too much, having too much. So this, this kind of like having so much leads people to the death drive. Why? Because of like the man that risks it all, but also because when you have too much and then you're seeing it's coming down and down. This, this, the, the, by it coming down slowly puts a person in a state that I'd rather not be. And that's the state of Europe. Europe is in a state of, I just want to gamble everything. Europe is in a state of like, our society is breaking down. Everything is going upside down. And I want to gamble everything in this war. And I see that I'm moving in a direction, in a direction where I'm not able, I, I'm going back to this, I'm, I'm going into the direction of self-sabotage. I'm going into the direction of self-sabotage. And this will obviously uh, have a domino effect upon the entire world. And this will, you know, uh, it could be uh, easily predicted uh, with the Qur'an and without the Qur'an. Uh, but miraculously with the Qur'an, that this uh, state of uh, an radical negativity that is taking over Europe because of these different dimensions that I've talked about, everything from starting over again, everything from uh, just radical negativity, the breakdown of society, the breakdown of politics, the breakdown of jobs, the breakdown of families, the breakdown of everything. And uh, then seeing the rich getting richer, the breakdown of morality, uh, the and then wanting at the same time to accumulate more, right? To accumulate war, more, to want more. So, and then wanting to start over. And uh, all this is, uh, you know, pointing towards the death uh, drive, the drive to go back to a state where you 
have to, you can start over. And even, uh, you know, uh, I think some of the philosophers have talked about even to a state of, uh, of, of where you never were. Like on the day of judgment, you'll say uh, that I wish I never was, right? I just n wish I never was at all, right? And so uh, this is where Europe is now. And if you look at the Quran, the Quran is pointing to Europe specifically. And the Quran is pointing to uh, this kind of like inner, uh, this place of materialism, because that's one of the main themes of Sultan Kaf, this place of materialism that is now leading to uh, the the absolute worst manifestation of the death drive, and so things are very bad. At, like at a at a, at a psychoanalytical perspective, things that are not at a good place at all. Okay, and so and and then we will. You know, it's easier to see the these this the psychic state. Uh, it's easier to see the psychic state a lot. Uh, faster than it is to see the economic state in in some ways it's easier to see the trend of the minds the trends of the minds and uh and so with that you know i end my discussion for today but europe is on a death drive and there's absolutely no about it, about a doubt about it and there's no sign of turning back there's no sign of turning back so we're going to, it's like when a train is going full speed and it's going to hit a dead end. And that's where Europe is going. Europe's on a, on a train to a dead end at full speed. And so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect. And this is why uh, it's very important for me to say that Muslims that are living in Europe, especially UK and France and Germany, they need to be especially careful because when that train hits that dead end, Right when it hits that dead end, when your leaders take you to the death drive, when your leaders, uh, fascist, uh, your fascist leaders, force uh, and gamble everything on this war, then uh, the consequences will be very, very, very horrific for Muslims living in Europe. Very horrific. Okay, inshallah, may Allah protect and may Allah subhanahu wa taala guide the Muslims. Jazakumullah khairan. And of course, those Muslims that die, inshallah, they'll get Jannah. That's the good news, and that's the the very good news, in, a fa in fact. Because Surah Al-Kahf then says uh, in the very beginning, And so Allah will get good tidings to those people who did good deeds. Right? So, those who did the right things in that time period uh, and and if they got killed then they're inshallah going to go to Jannah okay inshallah I will end by saying that please please do support my work uh, if you read the description you'll find uh, the telegram channel you can join uh, you can also contribute, inshallah ta'ala, if Allah puts it in your heart to contribute. And so that I can continue this work and I want to do many other things. But if Allah puts it in your heart to contribute, then please do contribute. And jazakumullah khairan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our eyes and help us uh, uh, see that we are, we are on a train uh, globally. And especially Europe, we are on a train that's headed for a dead end. So may Allah protect us. Assalamu alaikum wa